one of y'all comes. <laughs> Christmas, everybody. From we all, we got candles. I'm not gonna keep telling y'all. Y'all better hush it up. Spot up. Why you finishing cooking? Is up backwards. That's all right. Ooh. Oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Let me see what y'all saying. Y'all saying good? Looking good? All right, all right, all right. Ooh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody. here with the pups too so you know salute salute blue toy merry christmas mainly you and yours salute to everybody <laughs> hey blue toy if you crazy can i get a rent, a rent as a gift <laughs> boy you something though my ghetto. You know how the trolls do, man. I can't shit. I can't trust people. I ain't something that bad. I have to, you know, make sure it's fitting. You know, I feel people who support my platform, you know, I don't mind wrenching them up. You can't just wrench up anybody nowadays. That's not you. Oh, see what I'm saying? See, I see exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. But see, here's the other thing. When I go on my other channel, never mind. Never mind. I ain't even gonna say nothing. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. They turn that mush up, everybody. They still eating off moms, of course, you know. You know, and people need to stop with the, you know, your murals are blind, your murals are deaf. Listen, bro, every single one of these pups can hear and see. 
Uh, see, a lot of y'all have a misconception about these murals, all right? It's how you breed that will determine, right? Whether you have a blind and or deaf murals or a blind and or deaf litter from murals. See, I don't, I don't, I don't have to breed, keep breeding Merle in a Merle. I don't have to breed Merle on Merle at all. And a lot of people out here are breeding Merle on Merle. And I think that's sick. If you got a Merle with good genes, you don't ever need to run him in him or her into anything that has Merle in its genes. All right. So over here we are, we got Kendall. You ain't got to worry about that. We don't have to. Bentley Strong. This Bentley first litter. This Chica first litter. He threw a what? Two, four, six murals out of a nine piece. Um, all my dogs can hear and see. Active is you don't know what. Yeah, I mean, structurally sound. And uh, it is what it is. His genes is strong. I don't, I don't, I don't have to overdo it. I don't have to complicate the pups, put their life in jeopardy by trying to get murders. You get some with good genes, then you gonna have that 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 mural pattern in the blood. For those who like it and want it. For those who don't, I understand. But to try to, you know, poop on another man's kennel that you know nothing about, to poop on another man's pups that you know absolutely nothing about, to even put a uh, poop on a pattern of a dog that most of you do not know absolutely nothing about. You Google stuff and just uh, listen to other people, just go off of it. What do you know for real? Nothing. Evidently. You know, but it's all good though, man. We breed a healthy, quality pups over here. Yeah, you know I mean, they just had the uh, third deworming. We're gonna skip next week. They 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 went three weeks back to back, two weeks, three weeks, and four weeks. They'll be five weeks Thursday. We skipping that. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we are gonna get back to deworming them at six weeks. You see how healthy these pups are. Huh? You see that? You see they eat much? I know, baby. I don't know. Yes, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we ain't going to too much talk about structure because structure changes. But if you're looking at these pups, these pups are solid. As pups, they structurally sound. All right? It's just that. You know what I mean? It's just that simple. Ain't nothing extra about it. Ain't nothing complicated about it. And uh, it's just what it is, man. They active. You know what I mean? All can see, all can hear. Uh, my bet will confirm that too, but it's obvious. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, man. For people who... Uh, looking into getting a pup, but you have doubts because of something you heard. Hey, man, there's a lot of other breeders out here, man. It's a lot of other breeders out here. I'm not tripping. I know what I, 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 know what I just put together. We're not going to have no over-obese dogs. These pups are not going to be over-obese. Well, it depends on what the owner does with them, you know, the new uh, owner of them does with them, but there's no need for it. Let these pups naturally grow. And they're going to pop for you. That's for sure. Never breed Merle on Merle. And, um, you know, I suggest uh, doing a uh, um, 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 genealogy and DNA test on, our, on the, on the, um, on the pup. If you're going to. That way, you know, you're not crossing the Merle gene and possibly complicating things. Yeah, you know I mean, all colors of pups are beautiful. You know, and I, I know a lot of people going after the chocolates, the chocolate tries, the chocolate Merles. You know, what I mean, the lilacs and things like that. But don't, don't, 
don't risk losing a whole litter. Don't uh, risk having a litter come out blind and deaf or, you know, uh, 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 heavy structural problems. I, I, it's, it's, it's so much that could happen. You know what I mean? Let the parents grow before you breed them. I didn't breed to right at about two years. First breeding on both these dogs. My other two, that was just going off. Um, yeah, they had the two year mark and didn't take, so it's cool. They're gonna be a little over two years with the first breed between them two, two totally separate dogs. <coughs> you know, I'll let y'all watch the pus for a minute. Wife in the kitchen cooking. I got to sit up here and uh, clean their uh, area in there, disinfect it. That's another thing about keeping these dogs healthy, right? These dogs are oh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What's today? Sunday. These pups are uh, four weeks and four days old. You got a lot of people losing their pups, and they still not out to clear. For me, um, if everything health wise is right with a with a with a litter of dogs, regardless of what what uh, uh, pattern or color they are or breed they are, um, if they have um, internal health problems, once they you know it's, for me they're not out to clear fully until they've had their final vaccinations. You understand? Like for me, my pups don't go outside until they had their final vaccination. Period. On time. If that calls for me having to clean up poop in the house and everything, and you know, and they look whatever, that's what it's gonna be. Oh no, I don't want to clean up poop, man. I ain't got time for it. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let the dogs outside. Hold up, the the the, the pup is only six, seven, eight weeks old. At, at, at that point, they've had one, maybe two sets of, well, two sets of vaccine, well, one, maybe two sets of vaccinations depending on um, if they six, eight, or 10, or 12 weeks. You feel what I'm saying? It just depends, right? So why would you take the dog outside and and and, and um, double up the possibility of your uh, pups catching parvo? A lot of people don't understand that parvo comes from puppies or dogs being, that haven't been vaccinated being around other dogs poop. All right, whether they eat it, lick it, you know, you know how pups and dogs are. So why would you, why would you let pups outside? Now it'd be different if you got a whole secure area that, you know, raised area or something like that and no other dogs been around and they stay in there while they outside, fine, okay, cool. But why are y'all letting these dogs run around in the grass and stuff? Look at, look at her biting on the fence. She biting on the fence. They trying to bite on the fence, everybody. Um, I just think it's stupid. You know, just clean the, just clean the poop up in, in wherever the area is. If you ain't willing to do the work that it takes to have a successful, healthy litter, then don't get into it. I suggest you don't get into it because you're going to be very surprised when uh, you turn around and uh, end up losing your whole litter. So I don't consider being out to clear until the pups had their final vaccination. That's why at eight weeks, they still going to have a couple more shots due plus their rabies. That's on the new owner. You feel what I'm saying? But that owner will be given the instructions that needs to be followed to the T. 1,000% by we are, we got cameras. Right? Because some of y'all, the thing of it is, is some of y'all sit up here and buy dogs from people, and then y'all don't follow through with the mandatory, listen to me, the mandatory requirements for as um, uh, 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 health care, i.e. shots, right? And then y'all turn around and a dog catch parvo. You buy a dog from somebody, the dog, the pup, you don't follow through and 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 to a T, set up the appointments with the vet and everything else on time, right? Look at this girl down here, y'all. On time. And then the pup catches parvo. And then 
a month and a half down the line, two months down the line, and then you sitting up here coming on social media trying to drag the person who sold you the dog or say they sold you the dog with Parvo. Let me tell you something. Parvo don't live in dog. Parvo does not allow, allow a dog to live no month or two months once catching it. A dog, can, a puppy can catch Parvo, right? Or a young adult dog can catch Parvo, right? One day. And sometimes they'll perish within less than a week. Less than a week. Two weeks if you're lucky. Because sometimes for the first week that they have Parvo, if they do, for the first three, four days to a week, sometimes it depends. Um, you won't even, they, I mean, they really ain't showing no signs. Then you wake up one morning, your dog don't want to eat. Your dog is is acting sick. It's, it's just like, you like, what's going on? Don't want to drink no water. By then, it's almost too late. Now, there's ways you can save dogs from Parvo. For one, take it to the vet. It's very expensive, and they're going to tell you right off the top, ain't no guarantee. They can't guarantee that they're going to be able to save that dog. So why not? Look, look, at boy, I'm going to tell you something. This litter right here is nasty. People can hate all they want. This litter right here, the truth. Them two cho uh, chocolate trimural females right there, one of them I'm keeping. Not sure. Which one are you thinking now, bro? Uh, chocolate still the one, really. Both of them chocolate. Oh, you still on her little butt. Ah, oh, she, 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 she coming through. He coming through, but I don't know. It's something about her, man. She going to be one of them stocky mugs. I mean, stupid stocky. Now, she's going to probably, she's going to turn out too. But, yeah, she going to, I don't know. I think that's my girl right there. And that half face on her, but she got a half face too with a split in the middle. So both of them got half faces. But her half face is so unique, it's crazy. Look at her. Look at her. You see her? She just stretched. <laughs> oh, man. They just fold, what, four weeks and four days old? Oh, man, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look, gonna try a bite on heat tail. <laughs> they almost ate it all, too. They still going back to it. I gotta go in here and clean up their little area, so I'll let them keep at it. They keep going back to it. Yeah, go on, get your eat on. Go on, get your poop on. You know, do your thizzle. But anyway, let me let me see what's going on in this chat, man. Just want to say happy holidays. Excuse me to everybody. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's see. Chat. Hold up, chat. Never let me. Hold up, chat. Live chat. Oh, I keep forgetting. Got to put that on my phone. All right. Let's see. Somebody cloned you. All right. We'll get it. We'll figure it out, man. Ain't no big, you know what I mean? We'll figure it out. All right. Well, that person said something, so I can tell which one is the wrong one. <laughs> that person said something. There we go. If it allow me. Sometimes if you're on your phone, it won't allow you. You have to scroll up and down on your phone uh, to actually be able to remove them and keep clicking on their name and it'll finally come through. They turn that mush up. You already know, man. Unknown Raider guy, what's up, man? A minute of that shoe. Uh, yeah, salute and Merry Christmas to you, too. I'm loving those little fat bellies. Yeah, he. Hmm. But you see, yeah, another thing is, too, how, how one easy way to tell if a dog got worms is their bellies is always super fat. But they, like you said, you love them fat bellies. Their bellies not, I mean, they not fat. They, they body. That's their that's they structure. You understand what I'm saying? Number one. Number two, I want y'all to start looking at these videos of these pups and these pictures and stuff like that. And look how fat their stomach is. I want y'all to look at some of these breeders that is showing their pups. You clearly can tell those pups are severely infested with worms. When a pup is uh, severely uh, infested with worms, their belly is like a pot belly pig. 
even when they eat, they belly shouldn't look like that. Right. This is why you have to, and they're going to have, it's going to take quite a few, what, you know, four or five treatments, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> starting at about two weeks to get rid of the worms. And there's, you know, you're going to give you, you deworms in two weeks, bam, they get rid of some. They still got worms in them and they're still drinking their mom's milk. So they're still going to potentially accumulate more worms. So you worm them at, deworm them at three weeks. Same thing. You deworm them at four weeks. You see what I'm saying? And then you actually pushing the worms up out of them uh, over a period of, you know, four, five treatment, uh, worm, uh, deworming. You know, five about five or six. You see what I'm saying? You see these dogs with these real fat old bellies. And that's another thing I've seen some breeders do or people who consider themselves breeders. I'm not talking, you know, specifically speaking on anyone i'm just saying but i speaking of what i've seen and what you'll see them get ready to um get ready you know advertising their puffs but their puffs look thin so they keep giving them food and it's for the new upcoming breeders too yeah i see y'all puffs look thin but you're trying to fatten them up well you're not deworming them you're not deworming them so whatever food they're eating the parasites from the, the parasitic aspect of it like the worms are going to you know not only attack their immune system the worms is going to take the nutrients and the food that you give them right so they'll really never really pick up weight or very 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 slowly pick up weight and then y'all want to advertise them you'll hurry up and feed them a nice little meal they'll eat like crazy and then they'll, they'll, but they still look like shit. Let's be honest. They still look, you can tell a dog that is, is infested with worms and probably eats proper. People be looking at it like, man, that dog's skinny, man. Look at the dog this. Look at the dog this and that. But they stomach real fat and wide. That's because the worms are, you know, taking the most of the food source. You understand what I'm saying? So you can feed them as much as you want to. They're not going to get that 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 structure that build. You understand what I'm saying? They're not going to get this, man. They're not going to get this. Now they eat, ate, and still eat. You don't see no swelled up bellies. You see dogs that that the pups that belly fit their body and their structure. I'm being real about the whole situation, man. I've been doing this for a very long time. Now we playing around on social media. I wasn't doing it on social media. I was doing this real life and word of mouth. You understand? These supposed to ate like crazy. You don't see no swelled up looking bellies. They Their bellies fit their body and they just ate a lot. Very few worms if it's still worms in them. They've been dewormed three times. And they'll be dewormed again. I'm going to skip next week. I don't have to skip next week, but I can, I'm going to go ahead and skip next week. And the week after, I'm going to pick back up. Um, they're four weeks. Or I'm at six weeks. The next two more weeks, deworm them again. And then when if people pick them up, you know, lock in and pick them up at eight weeks, you feel me? Then I'm going to turn around and suggest that they still have them dewormed. They, they'll have the recommended, not the recommended, the mandated dates for their next vaccinations. And I suggest that they actually, as soon as they get the pub home, contact their vet and set up the dates for their next vaccination. Set up their appointments. Don't miss a day. Go to the appointment. Get those dogs dewormed and vaccinated by the vet up until they get their rabies shot. It's real simple. And it's not that expensive. Like here it's uh, around, because uh, you know, cost of inflation, it used to be like 40, 30, 40 bucks a dog. Now it's like, like for here, it's like almost a hundred. That's the vet checkup. That's the uh, uh, regular vaccination. Um, I think it's running like about 70, 80 bucks here per pup for a per dog per visit. 
But what if it costs you a hundred or your vet charges you a hundred and twenty dollars? You purchase the pup. $120. Say your the pup is due for three more shots and then his rabies shot. You know, if it costs you another five hundred dollars, do you love the dog? I mean, you spent four, five, six bands for the dog. Why not spend another about five hundred making sure if, if if it just depends on what they charge in your state. Like here, it'll probably here in Indiana, you know, you find the right vet, you probably, yeah, I mean, if you got three more regular uh uh five and one or six and one uh shots or whatever you're using um to protect them from the pervarious virus parvo um and then their rabies shot which is another fee um and just say here if it costs you a three four hundred dollars okay y'all go out here and pay 70 80 90 hundred dollars for a bag of for dog food but then you didn't do the proper care with the vet for the pup so you lose the pup so now you're sitting there with a half a bag of three quarters of dog food hundred dollar dog for eight sixty seventy dollar a bag dog food seventy eighty hundred dollar hundred plus crate another suggestion for those of y'all buying pups from anybody right when you purchase those pups and then most of y'all go straight to the to the pet store and buy them little trinkets and stuff. Fine. Why do y'all go and buy these dogs, these little cages? Because that cage is going to be useless here in a little bit. So why not just buy them the biggest crate possible and let them grow into it? And while they're in it, they have plenty of room to poop and not be in their poop until you can get to clean it up. You see what I'm saying? So people, stop buying these dogs, man. It's just a suggestion. You can do whatever you want to do. Stop wasting your money. Buy the big crate for the big dog that is going to be. <laughs> I mean, it's simple. <laughs> you know what I mean? Buy the big uh, 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 puppy bed. Nah, I mean, the puppy beds ain't that much, so it really don't even matter about that. But I mean, I, I guess, you know, uh, I'm just saying, man, think wisely to save you a few bucks, man. And to save you a few bucks, you know. But man, yeah, just chilling, man. Letting them do their thizzle. Letting y'all see how they interact with each other. Watch this. My dogs is blind, is what they say. Look, stop. Look, stop. Look back. Look, stop. Give me five. I don't know. Come here, good boy. Just, come here, boy. Come here. My dogs is blind and deaf. Man, y'all tripping. Come here, baby girls. Oh, you you want to play with me? Why are you running from me? Hey, girl. I should call you sissy. I don't know. Come here, girl. Come here, sissy. Why are you backing up? Oh. <laughs> I be laughing at y'all. It's, it's really quick. You over there eating. He said, fuck y'all. Oh, excuse my language, but it's okay. We over two minutes in. You want to come out? Look, he trying to get out that chocolate dry mail. Get off of him, girl. Come on. Well, my dogs is deaf and blind. Man, ain't nobody worried about y'all trying to tame my camp, man. My camp is 100% solid. I might have attitudes. I might be very arrogant. Hey, man, but it is what it is, man. I ain't got time for jokes and games. It's a real man world, man. Get real. Let's stop with the, <laughs> with the play crap. You know what I mean? The childish crap. But anyway, um, I definitely see some dominant uh, personalities. <laughs> hey, Black Pearl, you caught that too? I didn't even say nothing. 
but they all they all got their own little personality. That's why I'm actually staying live right now for a minute, letting y'all interact with the plus. Plus, I need to get these watch eyes and watch you know watch time up. Yeah, I mean we got to get uh we all we got candles monetized, man. Ain't no sense in uh putting all this money, energy, and effort into this stuff and can't you know what I mean get something out of it. You know everybody else getting something out of their channel. Let me just let them. Hey, y'all do it how y'all do it. Let me go on and do mine with my dog channel. We're going to spark back up that cooking channel and, uh, you know, a couple other different uh, genres. And, man, we just going to ignore the hate, man. Yeah, I mean, I've been going through hell for, you know, last six plus years. I'm good, man. I'm going to just ignore it, man. You know what I mean? Hopefully they tire themselves out. Now, I'm a day late in a dollar show, right? But I don't back down from nothing. But at this point, I ain't got nothing to prove and never had nothing to prove to nobody. But, you know, and I'm going to probably get them their first little wash up today. I ain't going to even call it a full bath. I'm going I'm to give them a wash up today. Well, I guess it would be, but a, pretty much a wash up. You see they pooping, they stool ain't runny. Um, You know, she is so active, man. That's somewhere to poop. If y'all know how dogs act, that's what she doing. But then she still want to play. <laughs> Girl, go poo. I see you. I see you. Watch. She trying to figure out a way. Hey, look, where, where I'm going to poop at? Where? Dogs be talking to... Look, I told y'all. I told y'all. You can tell... If you've if you been breeding dogs and no dog, you know exactly what they about to do. Do you know what I mean? You know exactly what they about to do. So you see they pooping out hard stool, you know, medium stool, no runny. Yeah, I'm going to get them uh, cleaned up today. I ain't just going to do no, um, but um, I, you stepping in your own poop, girl. I ain't just going to do no um, um, baby wipe, wipe off. Come here, Chaco. I don't know. I got to pick some names for. Him. I ain't pick no names. I'm gonna pick names for him, uh, but um, it's up to the new owners if they like keep the name. So what I'm gonna try to do is just pick some great names for them that fit their personality, and maybe the new owners will like it. If not, they'll look. You keep. Let me get this. Let me get this shot. Uh, Thank you. Stack it, y'all ready to get a fight back, man. Yeah, let me let their mama back in. I know she mad. Mom, her love. Right. 
Come here, everybody. I'm over here. Come here. Get over here. You better hush it up. say nothing. They over there whining. That's all they doing. But I don't have to say nothing. That's an easy way to check the eye test. Hashtag got them. That's an easy way to check the hat, to check the damn uh, eye test, right? Right? They just get down at their level and they look cage and walk around that thing and, and don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say one word. They follow you. Move your head back and forth. It's real easy, man. It's real simple, man. Breathe blind and deaf, dogs. Where y'all get that from? All merles are not blind and deaf. It's only when people over breathe the merle gene or breed merle dogs that come from bad genes. It's just as simple. I mean, like, quit with this 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 over exaggerated myth. It's like the weirdest crap, man. Hey, I ain't sure. I'm just saying, I don't get it. See, I'm just walking around. Look at them. Following wherever they see me go. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Where is my... I didn't lose all them fucking pads I brought in here, did I? No, right in my face. Well, only one in my face. I got to do this some more. Cause I got to go clean a little other area up. So I'm going to let them be in here for a while. My wife is in the kitchen cooking. You know what I mean? Let them get out, eat their little mush. Um. You know, do they little number one, number two, while I clean and sanitize they whelping area and uh, get them back in there. You feel me? After, I think I'm uh, go ahead and get them a little wash up. Let's see, and then I'm trying to get them off of this one. 
I ain't worried about the little bitty PB. <coughs> but, uh, and another thing too, like when you see them after they pooped and then they, they are, they, they ain't right. And they still got food left and they, and then you see them poop and then, you know, they step in their stuff if you don't get to it quick enough. And then you see them step their foot in the, in the bowl, let it go. Make another batch if it ain't done. Make another batch. Now, I probably do that cool, but you want to keep, you want to keep uh, whatever they put in their mouth as sanitary as possible. If not, you gonna have some serious problems. I let them float around a little bit, then I'll take baby wipes, wipe their feet off. You know, really ain't even tripping off of it right now because I'm gonna uh, give them all a little wash up anyway. So, and then you see how they come up on the kennels, you know, on the little cage. A lot of be food that they stepped into. Um, I bleach and disinfect it for the next time. I set it up for them to come out. Yeah, you know I mean, it just ain't there. Hey, quit biting on that cage, boy. Yeah, you the boy. Tell my baby boys and girls. Tell my baby boys and girls. I think he about to poop up there. Tell my baby boys. Not what we know you two, bro. Don't try to take my thing. Do it. I dare you. Do it. I bet you won't do it. Okay, you want to play with me? Boy, well, I'm telling you, you better leave me alone. You better leave me alone, baby girls. Um, <laughs> boy, your badges in your bag, baby. Uh, where is... Oh, no, I got more pads up there. They're uh, the one, so. Uh, about it, I'll find it. I'll find it. I will find it. Every day. Anyway, yeah, I gotta find it. What's the name? And uh, go from there. Let me go ahead and uh, get them squared away, resituated, and um, well, I'm gonna clear up this check first. And then get them situated uh, in here again. Clean this up. Put some more puppy pads down. And uh, get their whelping area cleaned on up. And then give them a light wipe down. And, um, you know, a little light half bath or bath or gas. But not fully. Boy, he, she, she, look at her, babe. Look at her. The two, look, look, look. Crazy, we don't do that. I'm telling you, that one, look how stocky she is. I mean, it's like crazy. This camera don't do no justice. These pups is fine. 
I ain't gonna hold you. These pups is fire. All of them. Every last one of them got their own unique characteristics about them. You feel me? <clears throat> like she a little cold. You can tell. Baby girl, you over there shaking, baby girl. Baby girl. Why y'all looking at me like that? He over there looking at the Christmas stuff. You know what I mean? And the, look, the black tri male. He over there looking like, what the hell is this shit? Look, I'm trying to get to it. And they over here all fighting each other. And look, she gonna kick her. I think this the other girl right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she like, get off of me, dude. Oh, don't get it twisted. She got a little chilly. The rest of them cool. She got a little chilly. She didn't hit over here. And she just ate good, too. She just want to cuddle. Boy, that chocolate tri mail look good. Oh, my God. But I'm not keeping the mail. The chocolate tri mail, not tri mail. There was only one chocolate tri mail. No, look at him. Come here. Look. Look how he's standing. Look at him. Ain't he aggressive with it? Like, well, now they starting to play with each other, but I don't know. And our little girl, the one we was originally picking, I don't know. She, she, she's something else too. I love me something else. It ain't hard for me because I don't want a male. I, I got, I got the Merle male. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to use him with other dogs, you know what I mean, in the camp that ain't Merle. You know what I mean? I got no Merle in their DNA, but I want a female because I got a couple, you know, we got a couple boys we can run the female to, run to the female that ain't got Merle in their genes. And still, you know what I mean? Because, like, with one of these chocolate uh, Merle females, um, find a nice... Uh, like, like boy, even even outsourcing too, outcrossing. Uh, uh, using a uh, chocolate tri, I mean, a uh, lilac like tri male to a uh, uh, um, chocolate tri female. Uh, running all black. You know what I mean? Run all black into that, uh, a solid black into that chocolate uh, tri male female. Ooh, 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 ooh. With the right background, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Anyway, let me read this chat, man. Let me get there, man. Come here, girl. She didn't got cold, girl. You better come over to this little heat since she didn't got cold. Look, they backed up. And look, she rolls up like, where that's coming from? Look at her. <laughs> I put the even a little closer. She looked up like, what the hell? <laughs> she, she 
Oh man, and they just gotta get big, and it's gonna be hell around here. Lord, eat Lord. Nine up. Look, the chocolate drive milk trying to figure out where the heat coming from. And I do, what you doing? Oh man. And the heating went over there and laid on the floor. He eat that, you know, when they eat, they tell you, you know, ready to lay some of them. They play around for a little bit, then they, you know, depending on each one of them's personality, it's like they ready to lay down. He then went over there and laid down that heat. He like, oh, I'm going over here on this hardwood floor. Watch this. Knocking shit out. All right, you better cut it out. Here she go, right here in the corner, right here, the closest to me. What's my mofo name? Jigga. Man, these puffs are beautiful, man. Y'all, y'all, come on, man. Look, look, look. Look at that, man. Come on, man, man. You not like me, man, but look, man. Y'all know this, this is fire. This is this is this is a masterpiece, man. This is a masterpiece right here. Look at that. Look, oh, I didn't think about doing that. Let's do that. Let y'all get ground shit. Come here. Everybody, come here. Attention. Forward march. <laughs> Oh man, let me get a little video at that angle. That little tripod, I got a water back. Come on, boy, you out of frame. You gotta get over here, boy. Oh, I gotta back up. Yeah, them some beautiful pups, everybody. Them was some beautiful pups, everybody. Y'all know it. <laughs> Y'all know it, man. <laughs> this right here, this little right here ain't nothing to play with, man. This little right here ain't nothing to play with, man. I'm dang. <laughs> it, it's, it's fire. It's fire. This little right here is on point. Y'all got to give it to me, man. Well, y'all got to give it to Bentley and Chica. They did their thing. That's the female right there, the chocolate dry female. I mean, chocolate uh, black dry uh, merle female. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all got to get. You know, they, hey, they ready to lay down, y'all. They ready to lay down. I got to clean up their little area here so they can go and lay down and go sleep. 
for a minute while I clean up their other area. And, um, you know, hit the wrong button. And then, you know, keep on pushing. Matter of fact, let me see what's good. Let me go over here at the computer because I'm certain people need ghosts. Let me see. Ah, YouTube. Uh, there we go. There we go, right there. See what's what, and then and then uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Turn the brush up. Uh, oh, I see the puffs are very healthy. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, as I can. If somebody came to you and wanted to buy all of them, would you take that deal, bro? No, no. I would never. I would never sell my entire letter to one person. Never. Absolutely not. Because who buys an entire litter? Who buys an entire litter? Somebody that's trying to flip? Nah. Nah, I would never sell. Now, if somebody wanted to buy two, yeah. I wouldn't sell not one breeder more than two. Not one person more than two dogs. And for safe measures, because, I mean, it's like this. It ain't on me to to dogs out of our hands, man. We can have contracts and things like that, but, you know, it's on the, um, the uh, purchaser to do the right thing for the dog so um I just put it like this i would i would never sell anybody my entire life max i would sell somebody's two dogs any agreement would definitely have to be that they would not breed them together if, if they had girl and boy if they bought a girl and boy definitely you would not breed them together and based on the way that i'm running my camp if you do, right, um, everything is off the table, man. Is that your, is that Sue's birthday? Yeah. Damn it. The game's off. Okay. <coughs> oh, <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me go and get up out of here, man. There you go. Got some company. Do they still interact with mama? Yeah, absolutely. They with mama every day. Every day. I just took them away from mama today to give them mush. I take them away from mama to give them mush because mama try to eat their mush. But let me go and get up out of here, man. I got a company pulling up, man. So I'll catch y'all when I catch y'all, man. Deuces. Holler in a minute. Yeah. I'm going to go get it.